Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we will see how we can take out the audit log report of SharePoint site as well as of the OneDrive. So friends, let's go to our lab environment and let's start our today's video demonstration. So friends, before we proceed to our lab environment, if you haven't subscribed to my YouTube channel yet, please do subscribe and please press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. Okay friends, so now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and uh, for today's video demonstration, I will randomly just pick up any one of the site. Alright, so say for example, we have to check the audit log report of this particular site. So previously what user do, uh, just they just simply click on the gear icon, uh, they go to you know the site information and here we have the option of view all site settings. So the person who is the site collection admin, they basically you know pull out the audit log report by under site collection administration they just simply click on site collection and audit settings so they click over here and you know just they uh, take out the audit log report from here but as you can see it is mentioned like we no longer supporting choosing specific events to edit audit log report and uh, previously lot of you know sharepoint site collection admin used to take out the order log report from here but uh, as per the microsoft this is no more supported and uh, this particular feature will be soon will be getting deprecated so now how we can you know really take out the order log report of this particular site so we will go to the m365 admin center and in m365 admin uh, you can see there is the option of uh, compliance so you have to be you know security and compliance admin to you know really take out the order log report so once you will go to the you know compliance center uh, there are a lot many options over here but uh, we will just simply click on audit so here we will get the option of auditing so here in the audit there is the option of new search from here we can you know take out the order log report and previously the lot of you know of us must be have you know taken out the order log report from the classic search as well so we'll take out the order log report from the new search so first of all you have to as you can see you have to enter the date and time in UTC so you have to select the time in the UTC so you can take out the order log report of uh, you know a SharePoint site of OneDrive from today's past 90 days you can go only three months back from today's date so as you can see today currently it's May going on so if I will pick up you know any month before three months like if I will choose up any Jan 3rd so as soon as you will you know select exceed uh, the 90 days limit you will get a message over here like this search will might be get impacted activities that happened over 90 days ago will only show up in the results so you have to select the date within last 90 days so we'll select date up to you know of March so I will select the date of March here you can uh, define the time in UTC and end date will be I will enter yesterday's date which will be you know 17 18 it's up to you and uh, you can also enter the time over here as well the end date now in the activity section you have the option to target the particular activity like the file access file deletion checked in file checkout there are a lot of you know activities which are uh, listed over here so as per the incident took place in your organization you can target that activity but I will you know if you will not target any activity it will give you the order log report of you know all the activities which which has happened on the particular site collection then here you can also you know if a lot of users have the access on a particular site you can target that user as well from here but on this site basically I only use this uh, you know site and uh, apart from me there are less users those have access on this site so I will not target any user uh, end date I have already informed you then there is a record type so here you can define the record type you can see there are a lot of many record type over here and now the most important thing is file folder or site so here you have to enter the you know the url of the sharepoint site or a file or a you know folder over here so as you know we are auditing this site so we'll copy the link of the site we'll go back and we will just simply paste it over here after uh, entering the site url then there's the option of keyword search if you want to search any particular keyword on the site collection you can enter it over here rest you can leave it workload as you can see there are a lot many workloads which are defined by the microsoft you can choose them and then there is the option of search name so here you can you know define the search name like this uh, example like this search is for the site collection so you can define any search name which is up to you 
after entering all these details you just need simply need to click on search and once you will click on search you will see at the bottom like this is our site and the job status is currently in queue so you have to wait and all the things you know whatever will be happen will be listed over here you have to just sit back and relax till the time it's get completed as you can see previously i have downloaded the order log report for the uh, onedrive site of mine so once it will show you completed then only we are good to go okay so now you can see uh, from the job status to queue now our job status is in progress so once it is completed then only our audit log report you know of this site is generated okay so now you can see our job status is now completed and uh, progress is 100 percent which is completed and uh, it took around you know four minutes and 34 seconds this is the search time as you can see over here so total 18 activities has happened on this uh, site collection so we'll just simply click on completed okay so here you can see the date is there like on which which date what activities has happened this is the ip address which is generated and this is the user who has done the you know activity since i was only having the permission so this is the user my email address is mentioned over here uh, record type is sharepoint and uh, then the activities here it is mentioned like change of a sharing policy viewed page so all these activities are listed over here like change site logs site collection remove site collection admin and uh, these are the items this item means this is my site collection and uh, for getting more information you just simply need to click on export and one you know csv file will get downloaded once you will click on export and uh, once you will click on export you will get a message like export is in progress and uh, once it is completed the csv file will get downloaded similarly if i will go back to audit Previously, I have, you know, taken out the order log report of the my OneDrive as well. So there was eight activities which were noticed. You can also, you know, take out the order log report of the OneDrive by simply entering the URL of the OneDrive here. Rest, everything is same, which I have already explained. So this is my order log report of my OneDrive. So you can see the activities of OneDrive, created group, added user to the group, and all the activities is listed. So friends, that's how you can, you know, take out the order log report of the uh, site collection as well as of the personal site OneDrive and my upcoming videos as I receive lot many emails regarding how we can you know take out the order log report of the uh, Microsoft forms as well as of the M365 group so I will be covering that in upcoming videos so that's all for today's video demonstration I will see you guys in next upcoming video for more informative videos you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos I will see you guys in next video